Hello Taurus, hope you're doing well. This is your reading for the month of August 2021. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it does resonate, leave me a comment, let me know how, if you're comfortable of course. If it doesn't, uh, you might want to share it with somebody who could be going through these situations and the messages in these videos could help them. Now, we're not going to, it's a general reading, right? So we're not going to focus on love or career in particular. We'll see what pops out. Um, I will be doing weekly uh, energy updates for every sign and I will primarily be focusing on love. So you might want to check those out once they're uploaded. Um, make sure you check your sun, moon, rising and Venus. If you don't know your placements, you could fill in your time of birth in a lot of these free websites out there that will give you your natal chart so make sure you check those signs out and uh, for a for a full picture to see what's going on all right so we're going to start with the wisdom of the oracle to see the overall energy for you and just to note i don't read reversals i also love flyers so i usually shuffle till i get one and if I don't, then I look at the bottom of the deck. There we go. Higher power. So I will read out the meaning of the card towards the end of the video. Make sure you stick around. We will be pulling out a moonology as well as a few charms after we're done. So now for the tarot, we're using my favorite Botticelli deck. And I thought we'd do a freestyle reading. I don't want to structure it too much. Just keep it free-flowing. We are in Leo season after all. Justice, Knight of Chalices. Five of Swords. Two of Swords. Hmm... Eight of Wands. Oh, we got two. Two of Wands and Eight of Wands. All right. I will clarify a few cards. Just going to push these up for you. Hang on a minute. Okay. So, Justice. I do see uh, you wanting balance and you wanting to know the truth about something there is something that is not sitting well with you and you are adamant that this month you get the clarity that you are seeking and it looks like you will i will clarify that card but let me move on to the other cards first uh knight of cups or the knight of chalices this could be someone external to you who could be coming in with an offer of love but the knight of cups could also be you yourself um, the knight of cups in the original right away it is somebody who's looking into a cup and imagining what his or her perfect life could look like and manifesting it as a result all right moving on to your five of swords five of swords is a very sneaky energy okay it's uh, the card of a false victory so maybe this is this could be you could be someone around you i haven't clarified yet two of swords not knowing what decision to make being at a stalemate um having maybe two options and not knowing what to do about them two of wands two twos together interesting Two of Wands, again, it's it's sort of being at a crossroads. It's about knowing that you want to take action, but not knowing how to take that action. And lastly, the Eight of Wands, fast, passionate movement. This could be communication. It could be physical movement, travel, any of those things. Now, quite a jumble of energy. So um, please let me clarify. Let's clarify the Justice card. two nine of pentacles and the ace of wands interesting so the nine of pentacles is your personal abundance a sense of fulfillment within yourself 
um, Aries got the same card but in a different context so I'm not certain what this could mean for you because um, yeah let me let me clarify the rest of the spread so that we have a better idea I don't want to tell you anything wrong let's clarify the knight of chalices the world something came to an end and it looks like it was a relationship the world talks about completion five of swords it's clarified by the queen of pentacles Aries again got the Queen of Pentacles as well. All right, clarify the Two of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Ah, I see. Two of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Knight of Pentacles. Before we clarify Eight of Wands, I'm gonna decipher this for you. All right. So I see you wanting justice. I don't see any cards of intense pain here. So it, it is possible that whatever did come to an end, you were the one who put an end to it. Um, I see that you are very uncomfortable at the moment or you will be in August. But at the same time, um, whatever negative cards I have clarified, they have given me positive clarifiers all right so the knight of chalices is an energy of knowing what exactly what you want exactly what you want to manifest when it comes to love and it's clarified by the world card so for you to manifest that particular happiness that you want i feel like you had to put an end to something that already existed because it wasn't giving you uh, the abundance that you needed okay uh, and that abundance is what is clarifying your justice card so you see where I'm going with this you wanted that personal fulfillment and the only way you could get it was by closing off a particular chapter and I do see that whichever other energy you are dealing with at the moment I don't think they uh, are taking this too well. Not in the sense of being upset, but they are resilient. They want to keep coming in with offers and they want to try and change your mind with the Ace of Wands. But I see you standing in your decision. The world is a major arcana. It's not to be taken lightly. The Ace of Wands is a minor arcana. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an inferior energy versus what you are bringing about now the five of swords that sneaky energy i feel like you've had enough of it you're done you're just like okay you know what i'm gonna stand in my truth and i'm gonna work on my stability and my power and my security nothing else matters it's really funny i hate bringing up another sign in another, in in your reading but aries had a very similar reading all right now two of swords clarified by the ace of pentacles i feel like you are at a stalemate at the moment because you're waiting for the perfect offer to come in and i see it coming in in uh, august because you have the knight of pentacles as well as the ace of pentacles now i don't know if it is the same energy that you left behind coming in again with maybe more stability that could bring you the happiness that you want or it is someone new i don't know we will clarify let's see but you're not going to accept anything less than what you deserve okay um the two of wands not knowing what to do not knowing which path to take you have the hanged man and the hanged man is an energy of um very similar to the two of swords to be frank it's kind of like uh, suspending yourself okay it's like a suspended very stalemate sort of energy it's like you're not making any moves you're just trying to shift your perspective in a healthy way trying to see all angles of the particular story story that's uh, running around in your life at the moment and you are being I also see it as a card of um, being compassionate 
being empathetic so you even though you are cutting out things in your life you are also trying to see the situation from the other energy's perspective the other person's perspective um so it 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 also talks about sacrifice and i feel like even though that particular relationship did bring you happiness i feel like you needed to sacrifice it for personal happiness and you know i'm seeing this a lot with a lot of people now because we're in leo season right and leo is all about self in a very good way it's not about ego um it's about having pride uh, being proud of yourself being proud of your accomplishments and only serving yourself your highest good you know and if we have to take out one month a year to do that <laughs> in leo season i don't think that's selfish it's self care and it's very important especially after the monster of a year we've had so two of wands not knowing what to do hanged man suspended energy okay and it's all right to be in that state if you're not in a position to make a decision don't force yourself to make it things will become clearer there is an energy coming your way i don't know who it is i will clarify all right now this energy is attached to fast moving communication passionate communication it could mean travel for some of you um but right now i just look at it as someone who really 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 wants to talk and i just want to clarify the ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles and the eight, eight of wands let's get a crossing card to see who it could be <laughs> oh yeah. the fool okay don't get me wrong i'm an aries rising and the fool is the card of aries okay we're not fools we are just very we can be childish we can be immature but we have a beautiful um free spirited energy now i'm saying we i don't want to put myself into your reading but there could be an aries coming your way um but i also see you not taking any of it you don't want that energy in your life i feel you want to be surrounded by a very grounding force i think you're done with that kind of naive childish immature energy it you know what it could be since we have the ace of Pent pentacles and the knight of pentacles uh pentacles are all about security and stability so this offer coming your way could have a lot of potential it may show itself to be a little childish so before you cut it off i see you cutting it off but then you know energies can always shift based on your actions so my uh my piece of advice is um kind of just weigh out your options don't make a decision be in the hanged man energy it's okay to suspend yourself you know don't make any any hasty decisions because this this offer coming your way it might seem a little uh, naive but i think it has a lot of staying power all right so i'm going to quickly read out your wisdom of the oracle number 4 essential meaning is conscious contact with a higher power the presence of the divine seeing source energy in all things committing to a partnership with spirit it's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with the higher power called god god is spirit or any other name that is sacred and holy to you recognize that your partnership with spirit is your number one priority the appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature so i don't know if the spiritual connection that you have is with your past energy or it is with the new energy coming your way or it is the the past person coming in with a new energy we have three options lucky you taurus but uh, either way i think what this card um uh, is telling you to do is to connect to source and source could be the divine power within you it could be the universe it could be god um whoever you believe in okay and i think that's going to give you the clarity that you need now let's get a moonology for you 
I'm sorry if you feel like I'm rushing. I am trying to keep these videos concise and if I extend one science reading more than the others, it's kind of biased. Am I right? Stubborn monology. What do you need to release? What do you need to release, Doris? Ask yourself that. Is it a way of thinking? Is it a person? Ask yourself what you... Oops, sorry about that. Ask yourself what you need to release. Because once you do release it, you are creating space to bring in something new and more fulfilling. And like I said, I don't know your situation. This could very well be an older person growing up coming back in the way they should have in the first place or it could be someone brand new but uh, don't ho hold on to any any toxic energy because you're going to invite more of it in okay let's get you a charm i always try to pick just one or two but then i get like five okay Swift movement messages. Whoa. <gasps> okay, that's never happened. I, I got goosebumps. What? These have never come out together. Okay, I think it's a past person, Doris. Um, your heart is going to be... I mean, your heart was split in two. And it's... Um, it's coming back together and either your person's name starts with a K or yours does. And this is happening pretty quickly for you. I'm, I swear, I still have goosebumps. I'm not kidding you. Oh, all right. Wonderful reading, Taurus. Take care of yourself. Talk to you soon.